I'm Bill Burma, Vice President for Advancement here at Grandview, and I've been here for 15 years. And uh, so during that time, I did see the transition of the Jensen Hall from what was referred to as Valborg prior to that. And uh, prior to the sale of Valborg to Grandview, it was uh, owned by Luther Park, our neighbors just to the east, um, which was the uh, retirement community. The donor, Virgil Ealings, who went here in 1958 and grew up right where the Crumb Building is now, his house was there. Uh, when he made that gift, he wanted to rename it Jensen Hall in honor of two people. One is his grandfather, J.L. Jensen, the one that built all these buildings. And then another Jensen, um, which was his, as it says here, his friend and mentor, Harry Jensen, um, who was a vice president here for several decades. So there's actually two Jensens that Jensen's Hall, Jensen Hall is named in honor of. Hi, this is Lisa Davis. I started working there when I was 19 years old, and I still work here just over at Luther Park. Um, when I started working there, back in the day, we had a 75-bed facility, which included the skilled, the ICF, and the residential, as they called it then. Um, we had autoclaves and catheters, and some rooms had four people to them. In 1978, I believe it was, um, the state came in and said we no longer would fit the needs of our doors weren't wide enough, our beds couldn't go through them. There were some safety features involved, and they were also in the process of building Luther Park, which when they did that, we moved all of our residents over here to Luther Park. I took care of a lot of the families of the Grandview uh, College at the time, their mothers, their fathers, their aunts, their uncles, and through the years, I have since then taken care of them. Uh, to name a few, A.C. Nelson, Marvin Jessen. We also um, were privileged to care for uh, a lady who was the second to last surviving member of the Titanic. She, she came over. She was one of the survivors of the Titanic. And she lived with us until she passed. And another resident that we had was actually a cook for Hitler during the war. Um, he handpicked her to cook for him at the age of, I believe it was either 12 or 14. And when the war ended, she was allowed to leave and she got onto a, pl a train, which uh, then wrecked and it took her a while to survive, but she ended up here in the States with her husband.